All right, good morning, good morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Friday, make it a profitable day. Intel's looking nice, gapping up off some earnings, um, as well as MYO. Got a nice little pullback from 560. So see how this stock opens up. If it can break back above this trend line, that'd be a nice play. Mankind didn't think above yesterday's resistance, 405 will be in play for me. Also, MOMO is looking great. Gapped up from 29, there goes the bell. Now it's up to 3050. So I'll wait for this first <clears throat> five minute bar to close out and then see if we take a trade on that. Also got my eye on the ES Futures. I haven't traded them in a while, so I may jump into those. JD, we think up above 48.50 pre-market high. May be in play, so I'm gonna change this to a one minute. And let this market settle down. We'll see how we go from there. So there's JD up above pre-market high. So I'll let this one minute bar close out. See if it can close the door. All right, so there's JD. I'm gonna grab some right here, 4863. So long 4867 on JD. Bought up above the first one minute high, which broke the pre market high. Let's see if this thing can get some legs, get some volume, continue to run higher. I'll put my stop at the pre-market high. Right. 48.72 is looking good. Go ahead and let, let 500 go up there. 4880, 4899. Fill me a 4892 on it. All right, so we're looking good on JD. All right, JD's up 4919. Let another 250 go, 49.23. So I've got 250 left. So I'm gonna grab some Momo, push back through the open. Buy 2,000 of that, 30, 32. I'm in on Momo. Had a nice trade on JD. Still holding this Momo from 3032. There's Momo. There's Momo trying to get back up there. There she goes. Starting to take off. I sell a thousand up here at 3050, which is what that's the pre market high. But now I won't. I'm gonna sell five, I sell 500 up there. Let the 
rest rod out. And I'm gonna let 500 go up here at this pre-market high for Momo. 30.54. So the 1500 left on it. Boom, Momo 3065. And I'm gonna still 3070 at 12, what, 1200 left on right, Momo. Let another 250 go up here. Stop up from Momo to 30, 3044. Looking good. And on the five minute chart, could push up to that 3080, 3090 area. We go 3074. I'm gonna let another 250 go up there. 3080. All right, so I filled at 3074. Getting a slight pullback. Looking for my higher level of support. So it looks like Momo is still hanging out right around that 3080 area. All right, so I'm going to close out Momo. So that's it for it. 647 on that one. AGS IPO. Grab some right here above this high. All right, some long AGS seventeen twenty eight. AGS 1774. So up 50 cents on it. Just let a little bit go up there. 1775. Let 250 go. AGS is pushing higher. So IPO is looking great. Bought up over the first five minute high. At nice volume. Right here. So once you get in the driver's seat, all you gotta do is drive, man, without wrecking. drive without wrecking and you can you can trade stock just follow the trend whatever trend you got in just follow that trend whether it's higher or lower 
know, watch out for other vehicles on the road. And I'm going to sell 500 of this AGS. So I got 250 left. I'm keep my stop at 17.29. Okay, we're going to a new high, 17.77. It for me for AGS 460 brand new IPO today, so it was a good setup. For me, I wait for the first five minute bar to close on IPOs and trade them to the long side. Volume is you know, increasing, and ride it higher basic trade on AGS IPO trade uh, nice trade on JD and nice trade on Momo little loss on Intel 240 loss on Intel so good day good way to end the week y'all stay profitable be thankful for the ordinary trades as well as the extraordinary trades you might not make a dollar off every trade, but if your trade can be profitable, whether it's 10 cent, 20 cent, 30 cent, what have you, be thankful for that. I am the Bearded Trader. Y'all have a great weekend.